Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to McGregor, Iowa, here in Upper Mississippi River Valley. We have got a couple things to do today. So, we are going to get at it right out of the gate. First off, we have got a call about an old tractor. We didn't get much more information about it other than that. Uh, the only deal is, is it's not a buy. So, we're not buying it for us to sell as used equipment. It's, uh, they want us to do a little work to it, try and make sure it's all cleaned up, ready to go for an auction instead. So we're going to take a commission on the auction of the item is the way that one is going to work. We then are going to go and check out a plot of land that I saw for sale uh, when I was looking around. It's for sale for a pretty good price. It's 10 acres. They want $62,000 for that 10 acres. I thought that wasn't terrible, so I haven't looked at it yet. I figured we'd go look at it. Uh, we haven't made a decision on where we're going to live quite yet, so I've been holding off. Uh, maybe we go with one of the in-town houses yet, but if we look at this piece of land, 10 acres, $62,000 for it, and if we like it, we might have to consider that, because I think we would be better off with that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But either way, we're going to get down here to the dealership. We are going to grab our PJ trailer. And uh, we're also going to wash up the truck and make it more presentable. In case the person that we're picking this up for happens to be in the area. We're going to go over there, get that uh, tractor, bring it back. To be ready to be uh, a little, you know, cleaned up. Not restored. It, it sh I think it runs... To my knowledge, I really don't know, but he, he said last he knew it runs. So we'll see what's going on with that. Anyways, we're going to get down to the dealership and get ready to get to work today. Also, I know I didn't use my blinkers at all back there. So here, let me get a couple in here. Yeah, there's a blinker there. Blinker on that side. We probably owed another blinker over here. Probably a couple more blinkers over here. There we go. We're all caught up on our blinker count. All right, here we are. And check it out. We've done a little bit of work. I, hi I paid... Uh, company, I paid for some rock. They came out, gave me a load of rock, and we rocked the driveway right here. As you can see, you can now pull right up underneath the awning, which is very cool. Got some signs to tell people not to drive in here with their duels. Got a pump actually working. Restored the pump a bit, although they installed it crooked. Good job, guys. Jeez. People. Can't, it's hard to find good work these days. Got a power washer right there. This, we got we brought it down here. We had to drive it the whole way. We got it staged right next to this tree a little bit. Try and maybe look like it's mowing or something. I thought that would be cool. Got our mailbox, which we're still waiting on confirmation from the posto, uh, the, you know, the post office, um, that we're going to be good set up on that. Tractors are set out here by the road right now. And then we have this back lot, which is just mud. Uh, but this will be kind of a, I don't know, overflow storage, overnight storage. We don't have any fencing in yet. We still got work to do to this place, but I didn't want to spend too much more money. So, yes, uh, you know, the tractor's sitting out here next to the road. Obviously, overnight, they get put back there. Uh, we do need to get some security lights and fencing and all that installed. But that's, that's all got to come in good time. You know, we don't have the money for it right now. We're going to pull... Well, actually, you know what? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, okay. This is probably not smart, but it's going to be easier to do it now than with a trailer. I'm going to pull right up here and wash off the truck really quick. Just because it's going to be easier for us to do it right now. Versus when I have the trailer attached. I know I'm about to drive back into some mud, so it might get a little dirty again. But at least, you know, we can say it's sort of clean, right? All right, there we go. Just getting them wheel wells all cleaned out. You know, the brakes sure appreciate it when you get all the mud and dust and dirt out of them. There we go. Let's put that back. We are going to get connected up to that PJ trailer now. So let's just back around the whole way, shall we? And you know what? Let's do it just like this. I'm enjoying first person. What do you guys like to see? First, third, mixture of both? I try to do a mixture of both uh, to appease everybody and make everybody happy. But, you know... You do one too much, someone gets mad. You do the other one too much, someone else gets mad. It's just kind of how it is. All right, I'm going to 
line up right there is probably about center. Before we get back farther, I'm going to go and close or open the tailgate. Tailgate is down. Well, at least pretend it is because it doesn't let me put it down. I'm going to back up. Ooh, I can tell we're going to be off. Okay, hold on. I'm going to shift this way just a little bit. We're trying to get that ball right on it there. That's probably good right about there, yeah? Let's, ju let's jump, jump out and check. Where are we at here? Uh, I'm trying to see. We are, yeah, that's honestly about good enough to be able to drop it on. We're just gonna have to come back. We probably should bring it to the right a little bit more. Um, obviously if I could, I would jack the trailer up higher to actually clear the ball, but I can't, so don't mind that. That ought to be good, okay. There we go, we're good now. Let's get this thing all uh, attached up, drop this gear. Make sure that's locked and we'll be good to go. All right. Landing gears are up. Lights are all plugged in. Ball is locked or, you know, we're locked into the ball there. I think it's good to go. We got our safety chains run as well. Lights all work on the trailer just fine. Let's do it. Let's go over there. It's on the Wisconsin side, actually. So we're going to have to head on over to the great state of Wisconsin to pick up this tractor. Not too terrible of a drive, I don't believe. We could, how's the best way to get there? Um, well, we live close to the, uh, the bridge right down here. So we're probably just gonna go this way. How's that sound? Anybody coming? Like we're clear, let's go. If you guys are enjoying this dealership series, let me know by hitting that like button. Also, let me know what you want to see, what you want to see us buy, do, anything like that in the comments down below. I want this series to be very, uh, have a lot of interaction. What is, is it the term interactionable? I don't know if that's a proper term, but I'm going to use it. I want this series to have a lot of interaction. I want to give you guys a lot of different choices in the decisions we make. That way you are a part of it as well. You are essentially an extension of the business and, uh, and helping us decide what we need to do. But we are in Crawford, Crawford County, Wisconsin. And I believe the tractor is up north of here, just a couple miles, not too bad at least. That's right, road construction in this area. We gotta take a right. I think there was no train coming. Should have paid more attention to that. I trusted the arms too much there. I was trying to find my blinker, though, if I'm going to be honest with you. All right, let's indicate onto the uh, highway. Nobody's coming, right? Able to merge. Looks like we're good. Get over. All right, I think we just got to go down this way. Uh, and it's actually... Oh, man. So... It's on the left side of this road, and I just thought of that. So we're going to have to... I'm going to just go ahead and get in that lane. Because we're going to have to get over there at some point. I believe he said it was around this establishment up here. This, uh, what is that called? I can't remember. Manning? Yeah. Yeah, he said it was around there, that trucking depot. Where is there a good way to get over? Because we're by that building right now. Nope. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Can I Ooh, do a Yui? This is, this is illegal. This is not what you're supposed to do in these places. Nobody's coming, though. Let's do it. I'm sure they liked that. And he said it's literally right across from me. Oh, wait. Okay. I see a shed. You suppose the shed is it? I'm going to pull off to the side. This isn't an interstate. It's a highway, so it's not as bad for me to pull off to the side here, but still definitely not something I would recommend. Is our trailer all the way off the, the road? I want to make sure we're over far enough for people. We're going to leave that running because we have our blinkers on. And he said an old shed along the highway. I think, I mean, there, there's no mistaking it. This has to be the old shed. But what tractor is it? What tractor is out here? Got some tires, barrels, wood, all kinds of scrap metal and trash. But in amidst all of the trash is an Alice Chalmers WD-45. Look at this thing. Okay, this is definitely an older tractor. Very cool. 
Got the narrow nose on the front, right? Very cool. This right here is for running an implement, actually. You put a belt on it, and you could run, like, an auger system for uh, loading or, you know, like blowing grain into a silo, things like that. Uh, you could also, there's some stuff for hay production that you could put on that as well. A lot of things, a lot of things. All right, you got your, you know, basic old school three-point hitch and draw bar. Seat is actually offset to the right along with the wheel, which is interesting on this model. Not a center seat. Very cool, though. Lights are on it. Don't know if they work. Looks like the engine's in good shape. Tires are not in bad shape at all. I don't see really any dry rot on either of these. Oh, yeah, all the mechanical steering rods and everything underneath. Like, look at this. See that? All, like, straight mechanical steering. Woo! Got your gear systems and everything right there. Okay. Let's see if it fires up. Let's hop over here to the seat side. Climb up and see if this thing starts. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we can get it to start here. How does this work? I think... All right. Make sure that's neutral. I think this is the... Yeah, that's the clutch. Okay. And then I pull this... And then it looks like this has been retrofitted where it's got a push start on it. So uh, now I should just have to push that. There we go. That started right up. No problem. Oh, oh, what's that? Is that? Okay. I just want to make sure nothing was breaking. I was like, oh, that doesn't sound good. Wow. Look at this thing, though. Old Alice, Alice Chalmers. Chalmers. Man, I can't speak today. Very cool. It has a... Th these old engines just sound so good. But I think we should be able to... Yeah, we should be able to squeeze out of here. And we'll take it right over there and load it up. I'm actually going to go and get the ramps ready over here. And there we go. Let's load this thing up onto the trailer, shall we? Let's put this thing in drive. Uh, mechanical steering, man. Ooh. Oh, yep. Well, when she wants to go, she just goes. No fighting that. Awesome. Listen. Oh, in the sunshine, it looks good. Look at this. Man, I wish... I wish he would just sell this to me. And I would leave it at our place just kind of as a, like a, a... A signature piece. Like like the, the signature identifier. You know what I'm trying to say? That old gas station plus this would look so cool. Just sitting out front. Okay, how do we... Because this thing's a needle nose. Are we going to be able to get this on there? Do we need to back it on? What do we need to do here? I think we're going to have to go kind of favor one side. Oh... Oh, uh-oh. Oh, we're getting stuck. No, no, no. Don't be doing that. Don't do that. We can try backing it up. Now, this feels sketchy. I don't know if I like this idea. Let's try it, though. Back it right on up. There we go. I have to crank it like that to get that front nose. Oh, come on. Don't lose traction on me now. Oh! There we go. Nice and easy. Perfect. Okay. Oh. There we go. And... I want to put it right about... There should be fine. I know this massive trailer is overkill for this tractor, but I don't have another one. Alright, let's shut it down. And strap it down, too. Don't want this thing going anywhere. There we go. We're strapped down. Load it up. We're ready to roll. Let's take this over to the shop. Let's turn on our blinger to let people know we're going to be merging onto the highway again. Take this nice and easy onto the apron. There we go. Make sure those tires get up there nice and easy. Trying to just be careful with our load here. No, we're pulling out real slow. We'll start accelerating. There we go. Perfect. We are rolling back south. Going to take this over to uh, our place. Drop it off at our dealership auction house sort of building. It's a dealership that holds auctions. I'm going to stop explaining it. We're going we're gonna to call it a dealership from now on. We're going to take it over to the dealership, which, by the way, we need a name. We need a name for the business. Need a name for the dealership. 
what do we call it make your picks down below i want to hear your suggestions what do we name this used equipment dealership shoot me some ideas i'm curious to see what you guys think because i've got nothing i have no idea what to call it but we're gonna take this over there drop it off run into town grab something to eat from the gas station go over while we're driving eat that food it's all about being time productive you know what i mean you gotta, you gotta manage your time right so might as well eat while you drive and then look at that piece of land that we uh that i that i looked at online that i think we might be interested in so that is what is planned today let's get at it i'm gonna drop this thing off now how do i want to do this i need to get off the road i could pull in but i'm not gonna do that okay this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna turn on my flashers anybody come in but planes are clear a little bit of time here I'm gonna kind of line this thing up like this try to anyways you can crank this back into here and we'll just back this up I know we're hopping off the road a wee bit there should be just fine there we go Take that right back. I don't want to unload it into the mud either now that I'm thinking about it. So I'm actually going to crank it over here a little ways into the grass. And we're going to unload it in the grass. Looks like we're good. Okay, we should be good right there. Yep, I'm fine right here. Put those down. Here we go. How's that looking? Flat? Looks flat. Yeah, that looks stable. Stand on it. Yep, I think we should be fine. Let's take these straps off. Roll those up. Put them away right in here. There we go. Now, let's fire this thing up and take it off the trailer. You know what? Instead of hopping up on that, let's just walk up it. So much easier. Fire it up. Man, it sounds so good. Oh, I love listening to this thing. All right. All we got to do is... Grab it right off the trailer. Whew, there we go. We got it off, finally. It was a real pain. I don't know what the deal was with that. All right, so we are going to put it right underneath here, I think. And this thing is a pain to drive. It should be fine. Let's shut it off. Just because it's an open cab, I don't want it to be outside. We'll put it in the shop later. Now we're good to go. Let's go ahead and put this trailer away. Let's go and get something to eat. It's noon, time for lunch. We're gonna get something from a gas station real quick and then we're gonna head over and take a look at that piece of land. I'd love to go to Casey's, but we'd have to go back to Wisconsin and then back across to Iowa just to get some Casey's. And uh, well, I don't feel like that. You know, Casey's is good. And it's, it's honestly, it is that good too, but we just don't have the time. We don't have the time for that. So that's, we're not going to do it. We're just going to get something from this side of the, this side of the river today. Oh, you know what? I wonder what's on the AM talk radio right now. The American style of transport is oh, wow. It's the pickle jar uh, podcast plan. That's very cool. Let's shut that off. Oh, you know what? We can get some Wendy's. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a number seven? Yeah. The meal. Yep, spicy chicken. Uh-huh. Can I get a, a Mountain Dew with that? Uh, large. Yeah, yeah, fries will work. All right, thank you. Oh, boy. Trucks and turning radiuses. Gotta get to the window. Gotta get to the window. Gotta get to the window. Nope. It ain't happening. All right, have a good one. Appreciate you. All right, we just got our food. We are gonna eat it. On our way to go look at this piece of land as I also try and figure out how to get out of this parking lot. There we go. So, let's turn on the Pickle Jar podcast, drive up there, eat our food, and take a look at it. Okay, where is this 10 acres at? The water tower is up here. Oh gosh, is it next to the water tower? Oh, is this, what is this building? First of all, let's check and see what this building is. I think the 10 acres is right over there. I got to see what this building is. Is this a, a viewpoint? Is this a tourist destination? If that's the case, I don't know how I feel about this this uh, spot. You know what? Let's just leave the truck running. It'll be fine. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's what this is. 
This is a viewpoint. Wow. Overlooks the town of McGregor and the Mississippi. Whoa. Well, this is pretty. Okay. Hold on. What's the balcony like? Wow. Look at that view. That's crazy. That is one heck of a view. Man, if the if the property I was looking at had this exact view, I would be sold. That is... That's beautiful. But, I think from what I saw, that gate, that looks like probably where the property is. I don't know if I like that. Pop the gate, do it near the attachment on the post. Instead of over here, that's how you torque a gate. Rolling hills, it's fenced in. I mean, you got the water tower there and that visitation center or whatever, but otherwise, you, know, you got trees out here too. Very pretty. This could be a pretty place. I mean, you know, say you put your house back more back towards here. Then, you know, if you get your house in the right spot, kind of on the bottom side of this hill, like right about here, you don't really see that water tower or anything. And you kind of feel like you're off on your own. You can be hidden from the road because you're down the hill. House right here would be great actually then right here in your backyard you get like this ravine sixty two thousand dollars just a tad bit over 10 acres sitting right here not a bad place not a bad place i don't know let me know what you guys think 10 acres 10.8 acres for sale there sixty two thousand dollars do we or do we not get that place and try building up our own little acreage of whatnot let me know in the comments down below as well as the poll popping up right now all right we're gonna hop in the truck we are gonna head back to the dealership and do a little bit of uh work on that alice chalmers and and just you're not really gonna work on it but we're just gonna look it over before we do anything to it so that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to give it a big old like let me know what you want to see in future episodes on the Iowa map here with the dealership series. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, I'll see y'all later.